Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video for you about on one effects and black and white conversions, but not using the black and white filter, leveraging LUTs. There are LUTs in effects that are made specifically for black and white work. And in some photos, I, I tend to like the LUTs more than I do with the black and white conversion. Just less fiddling, I get a look that I like uh, right out of the, the gate and I can just continue on with it. Got an example I wanna show you here now. So this image here, you know, I, I like the image. The, the color version of it has some merit. I probably will do a color version of it, but you can see on the right-hand side, I've already you know, kind of done, went my, through my processing here, and I chose to go in a black and white direction. But what I wanna show you is the difference between the black and white filter and the LUT for the conversion. So I've got some fundamentals done here, you know, some locals that are on here as well, and I'm ready to do this black and white conversion. So normally, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd do black and white, I'd hit this auto here, and I get this, and it's it's pretty good. It's 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 okay, um, but I generally white crisper whites and so forth. So you know, I'd be ending up going into tone and, you know, trying to do something with the whites, you know, I'd maybe pull the shadows down. I really like, you know, rich, crisp, black and whites, you know, detail, stuff like that. Detail I tend not to play with in the black and white filter. I prefer tools like dynamic contrast to do that type of work. But uh, you know, you can get, a, it's a good, it's a good black and white conversion here. But what I want to see is, well, what about the LUTs? And I'm just gonna turn this on for a minute. And you now, right out of the gate, this is more the black and white kind of photo that I want. I want those crisp whites, really dark shadows. That is the type of look that I like. And in the LUTs filter here, we have a category of black and white, and there are a whole bunch of them in here, right? You know, there's just a whole bunch that, you know, again, you can just hover over them and see what they do. Um, I tend to be a big fan of Amdahl, Fixer, and Pyro, and just chose that. No other adjustments for me. That's all I needed. And now to compare those again, you know, this is black and white with some work that I did to, to, to start to get it where I wanted versus the LUT straight out of the shoot. And then once this conversion is done, then I'll, I'll go on and do the rest of the, the adjustments that I've added on here to, to finish off the photo. The thing I wanted to point out is don't overlook LUTs if you're doing black and white work in effects. There are some very nice options in there that can give you that monochrome conversion. And depending on the photo you're working with, uh, they can be uh, just less of a hassle than, than working with the black and white filter and adjusting and fine tuning things. You know, just open it up, hover over the different uh, the options there, and you'll get a quick preview of whether or not that's the, that's the conversion for you. That's the tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.